Okay, so here's my my latest little under one watt lamp. And what I've done is I've switched to what they call eight millimeter straw hats. All right, and uh, they have a 140 degree angled thing. Now this reflective stuff that I have in behind is uh, from the dollar store. It's like a gift wrapped and it's not just foil. It's sort of like foil with small perforations. Um, I'm not going to say it's the best stuff in the world, but it does help. And I find that if you go with like one lamp straight and the other inclined on a curved surface, you get some pretty good action and uh, you get some good bouncing of the light around. Now, this circuit is the same as my last one in that it's this tiny bifiler with about 30 gauge wire and uh, it's wired up in it <coughs> basically in a in a in a jewel thief sense I have the circuit on on the last one on my last video but I can't tell you how much more light I'm getting running these eight millimeters now they're they're rated at 110,000 MCD when driven with 100 milliamps. And what I'm doing here is I'm running three of them. And with this circuit, it draws 60 milliamps off of a, off of a single, uh, single 1.5 volt battery is what I'm driving in. As you can see, <laughs> I'm too cheap to, to buy a battery holder. So I even made that I mean like the total cost of this circuit is about a dollar I got about a full yard of that reflective material for a dollar you can buy 50 of those LEDs for about eight dollars I believe it was and um, you know the the transistors worth I don't know 20 cents the coil is no I actually it's a boat it's about two dollars for the whole the whole thing it's just a section of pipe cut but it's good light um, you know for 0.1 of a watt you can burn 10 of these and consume one watt of energy so you know that kind of gives you some kind of indication um, I'll turn a light off and just sort of sort of give you an indication that although with this digital camera it's really bad because it, it adjusts but you can see that you know shining against the wall I have my child's toy there and uh, you know it's uh, it's pretty good illumination uh, it's definitely um, if I was sitting here right now with a book on my knee I could read it you know it's it's pretty bright. I mean, when you start trying to, this is a an 18 foot long room, so when you start starting to look across the other room, but you can see it's it's pretty good light, you know, for total darkness right now. And the idea is is that the energy this consumes is is point uh, point zero nine watts, so it's not even point one watt, 60 milliamps at 1.5 volts. So the energy that's consumed by this 1.5 cell uh, you know over the course of say six hours usage in the, in the evening can easily be replenished by the sun with a single solar cell and the next day in the next day in the sun so basically you have the same concept as your garden light except for in my opinion you, know, you get a whole lot more extra a whole lot more light than what would be provided by your your typical garden light. But I'm very impressed with these uh, with these eight millimeters. Try them out; they're real good with the with the jewel thief. Thanks for watching.